I've been using the Ace Pro from Insta360 for a few months now, and I wanna talk about a few of the accessories that can make it a much more user confident, extra camera that you can throw into your pack without having to be as gentle as you would with your full size rig. These five accessories I'll talk about, or maybe I'll throw in an extra number six at the end. But either way, these accessories are all about accomplishing two goals. The first is to make the camera quicker to mount or effectively use on site. And the second being all about increased durability. From my experience so far, the Ace Pro is extremely durable, surviving overnight freezing temperatures for star lapses. It's been dropped on rocks, off attachment points, thrown in bags full of random gear. And what I'm trying to say here is that it's already pretty durable. But what I want, I want it to be as strong as possible to compensate for my sheer tomfoolery on site and klutz like nature. What's the deal, everyone? Welcome back to the studio. I'm Jeremy Deal, and with that short introduction, let's jump into the first accessory that will increase the durability and usability of your Ace Pro or Ace tenfold. The A. Magison Aluminum Cage. This is a super cheap cage option, and at the time of recording this, the only real option I could find online. For the Insta360 Ace or Ace Pro at least. When you look at it on Amazon, it shows it as unbranded, but when it got delivered, it was branded A Magison. At least, I hope that's how you say it. It's very easy to install because it just has this one thumb screw, and when you unscrew that, it's a single hinge to open. I tried to install it backwards the first time, and it would not fit, so make sure you check the front and back bevels on the cage to make sure you're actually sliding it in the correct way. It has two hot shoes, one right here on the top and one over here. There we go one right over here on the side, but the side one is a bit of a mini hot shoe. It's designed with this little notch in it so you can attach this action cam mount to the side if you'd prefer that. I personally don't use action cam mounts, so I don't need this part and wish it would have been just a regular full hot shoe, but you can use it as one. Just be careful because it is a very small attachment point since it's not all the way through. You can mount something like an external wireless mic, but I would only use the larger upper hot shoe for full size mics or anything heavier. It also comes with two of these right here, silicone lens protectors. And honestly, I wish the camera itself would have come with this accessory. It fits perfectly for a slip cover. It works extremely well and you can't shake it off. Well, look, I haven't shaken it off anything. Plus it comes with two. So I'm thinking of cutting down one, cutting up a filter and gluing it to have an extra close focus or a miss filter or something like that that doesn't come with the camera. And in case you're wondering, the cage does work perfectly with the next accessory I'll be talking about, the Insta360 Quick Release Mount. This is actually the very first accessory I purchased for the camera because I don't really like the action cam mounts. And since I already do photo and video work professionally, I have tons of quarter 20 mounts, so it's much more user-friendly option for me. That being said, I do still have a few action cam mounts laying around that can be useful, and that's why I picked up this mounting block in particular. Because of the dual mount built into it. Let's see if I can get this on off of here real quick. Ah, here we go. You have your more traditional quarter 20 female on the bottom, but you can also pop out these spring mounted slots and it's now an action cam style bottom mount with no special tools required. And of course, there we go. That's what it looks like. Boom. It works extremely well, especially for what it is. If you're using the Ace or the Ace Pro, you're not gonna need the top piece, so just take it and stow it away. It also comes with a few different sticky bottoms that go between the camera and the mount itself. So there's a little gel cushioning between the two. They have one that comes with these little knobs and it states that these help even more with the noise issues that can occur from the traditional metal on metal sound. And I found it works just as advertised. Take off the one that comes installed on it and stick on the new one. Make sure you line up the magnets correctly with the locking mechanism on the backside towards the flip screen and press down with some pressure. You'll hear them both click into place and make sure that both sides have actually latched into place and it's secure. Then set the lock position to make sure you don't accidentally pop it off while shooting. These two accessories honestly feel like they were designed together. They fit so perfectly. It brings up the professional aesthetic value and they both serve two huge purposes. And this next accessory will go one notch more to protecting the camera itself. The Synova Screen Protector Set. 
The first big reason I chose this set over the official Insta360 branded one is simply because it comes with two sets of screen protectors for every screen and the lens. Six pieces of glass in total. Two sets for not only the rear flip screen, but also the front facing display screen and two for the lens itself. I was not sure if I was gonna use the lens ones at first, but after putting one on, I can't notice a difference at all. And I would recommend using the full set of three that comes with it. It comes with the standard wipe down kit for screens insulation, and that insulation process was honestly a breeze. I'm someone that hates putting on these screen protectors, and that's because I always mess something up. I got the rear screen and the lens. Let me pop this on off so you can see it with zero bubbles, but then forgot to rewipe the front display. And of course I got a little piece of dirt on the top. Not gonna stress it because I can never notice it, but these were some of the easiest protectors I've ever personally installed on a screen of any size. Here you go. Now to move on to a few things that make the daily operation of the camera much better from a user perspective. So the third accessory I wanna talk about is the Insta360 PGY Tech Multi-Mount Mantis Pod. You can see it right here in my hand. When it comes to a small everyday tripod carry full of useful features, you can't do more than this beast. It works off a quarter 20 male connection at the top for your camera and all folded up, it has a great feel in your hand and holds at a nice distance for walking around and vlogging. I'm sure you've seen other reviewers that address this issue, but without a close focusing filter on the camera itself, you have to hold this out uncomfortably far to get a great in focus shot. And that's the main reason I recommend this tripod in particular, because it fixes a lot of that and other little problems. You can not only extend it out once for what is the perfect distance to get you in focus with or without that extra filter, or you can fold it out one more time to get even more distance or a different angle. Then you can even flip everything around like this. Here we go and flip the screen up like that. And now you have an undercarry rig for any of you who might be out there using this to do real estate videos. From there, you can still flip out the handles and turn it into a traditional tabletop tripod like so. And if that's not enough, look under the bottom. It's got this hidden clip that they call a mantis clip and you can hang it off of just about anything. I truly can't say enough about this useful tripod and how often I use it with this camera in particular. And if you wanna get the absolute most out of your camera, then you probably want the ability to add an external recording mics to it. And that's where our fifth accessory comes into play. The Synova Insta360 and Ace Ace Pro mic adapter. See it right there. I have one of the Insta360 mic adapters for my One RS One Inch 360 edition, and it was instantly a night and day difference when I got to plug it into some of my professional audio equipment. So I knew I had to get the mic adapter for the Ace Pro as well, super quick. Just like the other products, it's extremely well built for its price and it works exactly as it's supposed to. The essential plug and play technology for upgrading your audio to a traditional 3.5 millimeter jack, and it still allows access to the micro USB here on the bottom, so you're not losing anything other than its water resistance in the process. I've not noticed any extra noise added from the vise, but here's some basic bare audio of this room right now so you can hear it for yourself. If you like this all so far, do the YouTube thing, like, subscribe, all that jazz. There are affiliate links down below for all these products if you end up wanting any of them, some with the official Insta360 store and some on Amazon. With that being said, let's bounce to my not so secret bonus sixth accessory that's helped me create some really cool shots. The Insta360 GPS preview remote. I like this for the simple fact that it gives me a touchscreen wireless view of the camera on my wrist. That's not the only feature I like of it, but it's the one that honestly I use the most. I can stick the camera on a super long extender pole and still be able to line up the shot I want from the screen right here on my wrist. Or if you're someone who does more action sports, it also has a handlebar attachment with it. See, the device itself is small. It's like a little digital watch size screen. You can move it in and out of the different mount options, which I think was a super smart move from them. It uses four different GNSS systems to give you the most accurate dashboard data to your videos in the Insta360 app or full studio edition on your computer. 
It can remote control up to 65 feet away and the preview screen up to 26 feet away from the cameras. So as it sits, it can be used as a trigger for photos or video in the field. Lastly, it comes with these little sticky pads for the back to cover connectors right here when being used around water. I wish it would have come with more of these little connector covers because I've yet to find a link where you can purchase more of them. But if I do find them, I will also put that link down below because it seems to be difficult to locate. As always, keep rocking and rolling, enjoy what you're doing, make smart business decisions, and let me know down in the comments below if you have any other cool accessories for this camera you love and what you may have thought about my personal suggestions. Catch you next time. Not gonna lie, really digging this camera. Using it in conjunction with the Go 3 on site, uh, it's been kind of game changing for all of my behind the scenes content. I like it, I like it a lot. Super cool utility, love all these little accessories. I have another video coming up about using this in a very unique way, which strips all of these accessories back off of it, but be on the lookout for that. Catch you next time. Peace. Ah.